Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my entire spring summer shoe collection, all my sneakers, all my sandals, all that good stuff. So it's going to be a long one. So buckle up and let's just jump right in. All right, the first shoes that I'm going to talk about are these guys from Jewel by Badgley Mishka and these are the shoes that I wore to walk down the aisle at my wedding. I love these shoes. I wanted something kind of simple and not too high of a heel and but also felt special. So I went with these guys and I really, really love them. I think they're a nice shoe. I didn't have a problem with any of the sequins really coming off that much. I mean, I, if you definitely like rub your hand on it, the sequins will come off, but definitely feels like a high quality, nice shoe. And they gave me exactly what I was looking for for my wedding. Kind of a simple silhouette, but you know, still special and shiny and, and just really, really pretty. And I don't remember how much I paid for these, but I think I like waited until there was like a sale because Bashley Mishka like wedding shoes are, I think like, $80 usually and I think I just like waited and got a deal or whatever so I think I paid about 60 for these. So the next shoes I'm going to talk about are these heels from New Look. I actually also bought these for a wedding but I didn't buy them for my wedding. I bought them when I was a bridesmaid in a wedding and we needed silver shoes so I ended up buying these. They are extremely comfortable. They have this nice chunky heel so they're really easy to walk in and I just love these. I, they're really, really comfortable. They go with a lot of stuff and I definitely reach for these whenever I have like a summer wedding because I think they're just super nice and comfortable. They are getting like a little bit, I don't know if you guys can see, they're getting like a little bit damaged because I've worn them so much, but I definitely feel like you don't notice as much when they're being worn. So love these guys, super comfortable. And I think they were only like 20 bucks or something. They were not expensive. And they're probably one of my most worn like evening shoes. The next pair of shoes are these from Calvin Klein Jeans and I got these at a sample sale. These are so stinking cool. So I love this super, super chunky heel. These are the highest shoes that I have. I just think they're so stinking cool. And they're navy, so they go with a lot of stuff. I would never get rid of these. I feel like they add like a cool, like edgy element to everything. And I've had these for about five years. I haven't worn them a ton because they are like a super, super chunky heel, but I definitely would hang on to these. I've thought about selling these a couple of times, but there's just something about them. I just feel like they look really special and I don't know, they just feel like really edgy and cool when I wear them. And I think I got these for like 45 or $50. So these are a keeper. Next pair of heels are these guys. These are from Nine West, but I got these at TJ Maxx. I didn't have any black pumps and when I was starting to like work in an office, I kind of figured I would need to wear heels. I never really wore heels. I usually wear these to like parties or something dressy that I think my shoes might get damaged. I'll wear these because they weren't that expensive. These were probably like 20 or $30. Um, they have this cool like texture on the heel. These are very versatile, which is why I haven't gotten rid of them yet. And they're relatively comfortable because the, the heel is pretty chunky. They, I can be on my feet for a long time in these guys. Next pair of heels are these guys. These are from Cole Haan, but I got these secondhand at Green Street's consignment shop. And these are so stinking pretty. <laughs> so they have like a snake on the front and they're kind of like this asymmetrical kind of sling back and this super beautiful like black smooth leather. I love these. I love wearing these for like when I need like kind of an office thing or something like a little more sleeker on my on my feet and then the heel is pretty skinny but it's also kind of like on the kind of kitteny, I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, it's not like super, super high so it's pretty comfortable. Uh, I, I like wearing these with like trousers. I think this pointed toe looks really cute underneath like a trouser. So I really love these guys. I haven't had an opportunity to wear them that much because I never leave my house but um, they're really, really cute and comfortable and 
I really love these. All right, next, these beauties. These beautiful shoes are from Naturalizer. I bought these last year, or no, I bought these in 2019 and then I hadn't had a chance to wear them. Like I bought them right at the beginning, of either late 2019 or early 2020. And then I didn't, haven't had a chance to like wear them outside of my house, so they look brand stinking new, but they're beautiful. Like I said, they're from Naturalizer. I really wanted like a bright red pump and I think these are beautiful. It's like a nice sling back. You got the pointed toe with kind of like this square cut and then this is a little bit suede bit and then the rest is red and it's got this super chunky heel. So they're super easy to walk in, super comfortable. Love this red color. I feel like this color was like chili pepper or something adorable. I don't know. I'm looking for it and I can't find it. Oh wait, here we go. So does it have the color? No, but they're really beautiful. These were $60 possibly, but I, as soon as I can wear them, they're getting worn like crazy, but I'm not going anywhere. Next up for heels are these heels. These are from Everlane and these are in a size nine and a half. Oh, so far all of the shoes that you've seen were my true size, which was a nine. These I sized up a half size to a nine and a half. These are in the color, I feel like they're the color like rose or clay or something. They're like this mid pink. They, they're, to me, they're looking a little more like brown on screen, but they're, they're pretty like soft pink. And I got these for my birthday last year and I've been like waiting to wear them. They're so cute. I love this color. I, I've heard good things about how comfortable these are, so I'm really excited to wear these out. Next, I have these pumps, which is another purchase for a wedding. I hadn't, I, I didn't have that many heels, so all of a sudden I had all these weddings to go to and I didn't really have that many shoes to wear. So I bought these for a wedding and I am so glad I did because they are so extremely comfortable. I, I could wear these for a full day of work and so they're they're lovely. These are from Steven by Steve Madden and it has this really cute like banana heel which I love but it's also like this neutral color that I feel like goes with everything and it's very classic so I really really love these. I don't see myself ever getting rid of these until they are unwearable. Next pair of heeled shoes that I have are these guys. This is a mule from the brand Universal Thread. I got these at Target. I friggin love these shoes. I would, if they came out with a real leather version of this from another brand from somewhere else, I would buy them because I wear these so often. They're pretty comfortable. They're not like the most comfortable. They're not the most well made, but they are my style. I wear these so much in the spring and summer and they just go with everything. They're really comfortable. This is a really soft faux leather. I just, and the toe shape is nice and the whole shoe design is really beautiful. And I got these in my true size and I just love these. I love the color. I love everything about them. I'm actually nervous for when these eventually like start breaking down because like I said, they're not the most well made. There's some stitching coming apart. But like I wear these so much that I'm not really surprised that they're kind of coming apart a little bit. So really, really good value for purchase because I think these were probably like maybe $30 and I wear them a ton and I'm gonna keep wearing them forever. They're so pretty. I can't decide if these are heels or flats. I It's a little tiny baby heel, so I guess they're heels. These are a pair from Naturalizer again. It's just this cute little sling back, flat, you know, kind of goes with everything. Love these. I feel like these are nice, basic, easy shoe. And like I said, jeans, dresses, you know, trousers, whatever I need to wear. If I want to make it look more polished, I will go for these. Another baby heel. Oh my gosh, it's really hard to show you guys these. So I love these shoes. They are so cute. These are my kind of squiggle sandals. I got these from INC International Concept at Macy's and they're just so cute. So it goes around the back of your foot and your ankle like that. And then you have the three straps that go over your foot. This is actually the second pair that I had because I wore the first pair and within, and I wore them to walk around quite a bit and the strap actually came apart. 
and I only had them for about six months. So I went back and they gave me another pair to replace them for free, which was insane and very exciting. So this is my second pair and I really, really love these. I wish they would bring the style back because I would buy another pair because they are perfect for casual and dressy occasions and they're really comfortable and I just, I don't know, there's just, they feel very special and, and pretty and I just, I love them. I wish they would bring them back. They're so nice. Another favorite pair of sandals are these guys from Material Girl. I actually also got these at Macy's. It's pretty funny. Uh, so these are just like a strappy red heel, uh, little, you know, block heel sandal and um, they zip up the back and then you have like these straps going over your foot and it's, it's just like really nice and lightweight and I just love to wear these when I want to like brighten up an outfit. It's really hot out, you know, want to wear some sandals, I'll wear these. Uh, so I like having a lot of red shoe options. So I probably have like three or four red shoe options for different outfits so like say I'm wearing something dressy and I want to wear a red shoe I'll wear like the heel or if it's hot and I want to wear something you know dressy and I need a red heel I'll wear these or if I'm doing something casual I have uh, like an orangey pair of bands or whatever so it's nice to have like the same sort of colors in different styles of shoes so you can fulfill like different outfit needs if that makes sense so anyway these are really comfortable I could wear these for a full day of work these are my actual size and they're just super, super nice. I love these, they're so comfortable. All right, next pair of heeled sandals. I really like the style of shoe, so I have the red ones, these ones, and a pair in black. So these guys are from Madewell originally, but I bought these secondhand from Green Street, and these are, I think these are a nine and a half, actually. I don't think these are a nine, but they fit me fine because they have this back piece, so my foot stays in place, and then the ankle strap also keeps me secure. I love this this like braiding detail here. I think it's really pretty. I love this color of brown. I think it goes with a lot of different things. The, the foot base doesn't feel like the most supportive, but I think the fact that this is like a little heel kind of gives me a little bit of that art support, I guess. But I really, really love these. I think they look really good on and they go with a lot of stuff. Next we have another heeled sandal here and these are from Steve Madden. These are another kind of like strapped shoe with the ankle strap. Like I said, these kind of make me feel like more secure. I think these are all, yeah, so these are also a nine. These are great. I mean, they are, I've had them for some time and so they're a little like worn, but they still work. So I'm gonna hang on to them and they go with a lot of stuff and they're great for when I'm wearing something summery and I need a black sandal. These are the perfect kind of dressy option and the heel is nice because it gives me a little bit of heel but it's not like crazy. So next I have one pair of flip flops and these are from American Eagle and I love American Eagle's flip flops. I think they always have nice, I think these are American Eagle, oh yeah. American Eagle always has really great styles of flip flops and so I got these guys uh, in a size nine and it's just like this kind of, again, like a strappy detail. Obviously I like kind of a strappy shoe. So I am no different when it comes to flip flops. So I have these guys, I've had these for, gosh, two, maybe four years and they're comfortable, they're easy. I wear them to get pedicures, I wear them to the beach. I'm not really like a flip-flop person. I definitely wouldn't feel comfortable wearing flip-flops to work. So these are really mostly just for, you know, the beach and, or a pool and like getting my, my nails done. So that is those, they work, they're great. And then we have my other pair of sandals and these are also from American Eagle, which is funny, but I actually bought these at TJ Maxx. It's really funny because I bought them actually with the, the little like line through, I guess, so you couldn't return them to American Eagle. But these are really great. Um, these are obviously like a Birkenstock dupe. The suede on these is really soft, so they're really comfortable. And I like the rose, gold, the rose gold. In fact, I've been like thinking about actually getting a real pair of Birkenstocks, but I wanna make sure that I'm really wearing these like first. If I'm not really like wearing these a ton, I'm not gonna spend 100 and whatever, 20 bucks on, the real thing, so 
I'm really trying to see if I'm gonna be drawn to wearing these and if not I might get rid of them and get a pair of sandals that'll actually wear more um, because I, I do like like kind of like a back strap to my sandals if it's it doesn't have to be an ankle strap but even just like something that goes around the back of my heel just so they feel more secure and also just so I can, I feel like I can wear them to work. I feel like I can't really wear like slides or flip flops to an office. And I feel like if I can only wear them on the weekends, it's hard for me to decide to buy them. I bought these when I was, you know, in college and didn't have to worry about going to a job basically where they cared about my footwear. So it's just deciding on whether or not um, these fit my current lifestyle. All right, so next I have these guys from H&M. This is in size 40, and it's just like a little tiny baby wedge espadrille, and I really love these because, like I said, I like a little back strap, and this these straps in the front are actually elastic. So it's a pretty tight elastic, so it's it's gonna keep you ni nice and secure, and I just think it's so pretty on the foot, and then it feels like very secure and like easy to wear, super comfortable, and I just, I really love these. I bought these in 2019, and I just love them. I think they're really cute. They're good for casual or dressy. This next pair of espadrilles I also bought from H&M, but many, many years ago. I just wear them a ton. I love wearing them in the summer when I want to wear like a flat. They're really comfortable, you know. I like that this is like a black canvas. If you don't get a, like a leather espadrille, they always make it in like that faux suede. And that, oh, I feel like it's dirty so quickly. So I love that it's like this kind of cottony canvas and then the toe is like this kind of like faux snake, which isn't like, I don't know, I, I like the way it looks. It doesn't offend me. It makes the, the shoe look a, look a little more special. So I really, really love these. I got these in a size 40 and they've held up really well, actually. I'm looking at the bottoms of these and they, they look like they're in pretty good shape. So maybe I'll get another like five years out of these. Next pair of shoes is a more recent purchase. I got these in 2019 as well. And these are from The Gap and they are a leather pair of brown espadrilles. And I really like these. The On my foot, they don't feel like the most flattering and then also, I wore these and like the the leather on the top got nicked and so there's like a little baby like kind of scratch that I feel like if I picked at it I could like peel the leather off. So there's that. I'm not like in love with these but I, so I feel like I might get rid of them in the future but they are really soft leather. I love the color so they're staying in my collection for now. But these are another one where if I'm not wearing them a lot this summer, they're gonna go. The final pair of espadrilles are these, and these are from Target. These are from the brand Dolce Vita, and these are like just like a leopardy kind of slide. And I bought these in a nine and a half, and they were humongous. So I went back and I got my true size, and they fit perfect. And I just love these. It's like a nice neutral way to like spice up an outfit. And yeah, it's like super comfortable and I like the little mule aspect. So these are cute. I, I've worn these quite a bit. Next are these flats. These are from Everlane and um, they were actually bought secondhand from Poshmark. And they're just like this beautiful V cut flat there you go there's the v cut and in this really pretty like woven leather texture i think these are gorgeous whenever i wear these i feel like very like cute and oh, i just i really love them they're not the most supportive shoes and i wore them for they're relatively comfortable and then i wore them to an office day i went in and i was there and they started hurting my feet after like four hours of constant standing. So I think I need to like kind of break them in a little bit, like the kind of this back part kind of rubs my heel, but that's fine, it'll it'll get better. I'll just wear band-aids and then it'll kind of like loosen. I think it's just like really hard. It was only on one heel too, so I think they just need to kind of mold to my foot kind of. I've only worn them a handful of times because it's, you know, no one's leaving their house, but. Otherwise, they're really, really beautiful, and I actually had a different pair of shoes that 
I had from H&M and they were so totally uncomfortable, but I loved them because they were like this kind of woven black pointed toe sling back just like these, except they were like the crappy version that I bought a size that was too small because they were coming off my foot. I shouldn't have even bought them because they were not the right size and they didn't fit right, but these do the same thing and they're so much nicer and they fit me better and they are more comfortable. So uh, these are amazing and I love them so much. Next are these shoes from Doc Martin, these Mary Janes, but uh, they were bought secondhand on eBay and these are so stinking cute. I love these. You probably, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen me style these a couple of ways already. I have been experimenting and I just, I just love these so much. I'm just like trying to find the perfect way to style them. These are so nice and they're comfortable and they're like super high quality leather and this foot bed, is that what they're called? Or sole? The sole is like chunky and nice. I just, I really love these. I'm, I'm into them and yeah their vintage and I think they're like made in England. Like so cool, so amazing. I'm very excited to keep wearing these in spring and summer. Oh, and these are, what size are these? So yeah, these are made in England. They're Doc Martin, vintage Doc Martens. And they're size UK seven. So if that helps. Next we have this pair of loafers. These are from Sam Edelman. These are in a size, I think I sized down in these. I sized down to like an eight and a half because the nines were just like a little too big. Yeah, so these I sized down a half size. These are, you can still buy these. These are still available in different colors. They, they make them in like every color. They must be like a really good seller. And I know why. It's because this leather is super, super soft. I didn't have to break these in at all. They are so comfortable and cute and the little toe shape is so nice and I love these. I would get these in another color. I've been like stocking the brown ones for a really long time but I haven't bought them because I haven't been in an office forever so I'm not wearing my loafers as much as I would like. So until I'm like wearing loafers like left and right, I'm, I'm not gonna pull the trigger but I really, really love the red ones. They are so nice and everything I could want and more. They're so expensive. They're like regular price. I think they're like 120. I think I got them on sale, but they're very, very nice. And they're definitely a high quality loafer. All right, next. You guys are probably like, okay, Lauren, what the heck are those? So if you've seen a past shoe collection video or me talking about my shoes, you might have seen these, but they look very different. These were blue. These used to be very bright blue. They were kind of the color of this rubber part here. And I re really wasn't wearing them. I've had them for a really long time. And so I wasn't wearing them and I was like, well, I really want a pair of high tops. So I feel bad getting rid of them. So I decided that I was gonna bleach them and then dye them black. So this is them bleached. I will insert a picture somewhere if I dyed them black before posting this video to show you guys what they ended up looking like. I'm excited to see what they look like and wear, get more wear out of them because I really like the style of shoe, but I just wasn't wearing them in that like kind of bright cobalt blue. So I'm excited to dye them black and see how they go. Next pair of Converse are these guys. I got these for my birthday a couple years ago in the, I think this is like a chrome yellow or like a lemon yellow or something yellow. Uh, I get all my Converse in my true size, size nine, so men's size seven, and I love this color. I, I wear them with black all the time, like I would wear it with this outfit right now. I'm wearing jeans too, so I would definitely wear it with this outfit, and I just, I love these. I think they're, like, they make any outfit, like, bright and fun. Okay, final pair of Converse are these guys. These are another pair of wedding shoes. I wore these for my entire reception, um, my wedding. And I don't know if you guys can see they're like iridescent. So this is an iridescent sequin all over it. And it's just uh, so pretty. I am really trying to wear these more. I've been very babying them quite a bit because they are obviously white. So I have been like, I haven't worn them since my wedding, but I really, really love them. And I really want to get more wear out of them. And I, I've spent the money on them. So I want to wear them. I've just been like 
apprehensive because they're so pretty and I don't want them to get ruined. So I am babying these a little tiny bit, but I definitely want to start writing them more in the spring and summer. Next, I have my orange vans. These were actually the color hot sauce uh, and they're this beautiful orange color. And these are also in a size nine. I got these for Christmas a few years ago and I love these. The only thing that bothers me about these is there's so many lace holes. Is this a standard amount of lace holes that go on a shoe? Because it takes me like 45 minutes to unlace these and relace these. It feels like a corset on my foot. It's just size struggles. So I have to like really unlace them and then relace them up and uh, it's just, it's a struggle, but I really, really love these. They're super duper comfortable. I would buy another pair of these. Um, they're not the most supportive shoes, but I, I do like them. I have been very concerned about this faux suede, or I guess it's probably real suede, this suede toe, because I, I know me and suede do not get along. Suede gets very dirty very easily, and it's really hard to clean suede. Are you seeing me struggle? I'm like trying to push these laces up out of the way so you can see the suede toe and they're getting in my way. All right, so there it is. Um, I've been concerned about getting like a stain on these, but so far so good. They look in pretty good condition considering I wear these a ton. I wear these so much, <laughs> so uh, they look pretty good. Obviously you can see like the wear and they're really dirty on like the white portion, but so far so good. Uh, I really, really love these. I love the color. I love the shape. I, these were a little bit uncomfortable when I first started wearing them. They were rubbing a little bit, but otherwise they've been really comfortable ever since. Next pair of shoes are these guys from Reebok. These are the newest pair of shoes to my shoe collection. I bought these at the beginning of 2021. I thought long and hard about these. I wanted a pair of black sneakers. They're pretty comfortable. I wore them for a full day of work one day and then the next day my back hurt, but I don't know if that was because of these shoes or because I never move around and that was the most physical exercise I had gotten in like three weeks. So I don't, I don't know what it was, but uh, otherwise these are relatively comfortable. They go with a lot of stuff. The white like kind of edge part is getting dirty, but it's not like gross yet. So I think from far away, they look pretty good. I, I'm, I'm really happy with this purchase so far. I really thought long and hard and I looked at Nike and a bunch of other brands to try and find what I was looking for and I, I just couldn't. So I, I um, and then I finally settled on these and then I ended up getting, oh, and by the way, these are a men's shoe. So I bought a men's shoe because no women's shoes are like this. Clearly I have masculine style. So I ended up getting a men's size seven because that is the equivalent of a women's size nine. And it was actually too tight, so I ended up sizing up to a seven and a half. So these are technically like a nine and a half for women's, so, uh, and they fit really nice. So just, just so you know for those. And these are, I think, let's have the style. I feel like these are the something 85s, C85 possibly. I'll, if I find them, I'll link them down below. Next are these shoes from Puma. Uh, these are a pair of just like workout shoes. I basically wear these to run around and like in the backyard or to like do something gross. They're, they're really quite disgusting at this point, but they're really, really comfortable. They're nice and lightweight. These are kind of like my, if I need like a gross pair of sneakers to do something. This is what I'm gonna wear. All right, last but not least, these are my running sneakers. So these are a pair of Nikes. These are in a size nine. I don't know what style these are. I don't know. But um, yeah, oh, let's see. The Nike Zoom, I don't know. I don't know guys, here's what they look like. So I get a, like a nice bit of support. They're pretty lightweight. Um, they're very comfortable. So these are the shoes that I work out in and I run in and um, yeah, they're pretty nice. I got them at Macy's or Kohl's or one of those places and, and they're, they're comfortable and nice and easy and just a nice kind of solid black running shoe. All right guys, those are all my spring summer shoes. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below which pair of shoes was your favorite. And if you don't wanna miss anything from me, make sure to subscribe. I put up new videos every Sunday and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.